The mission of the ARL Materials Campaign is to ensure fundamental interdisciplinary research in materials and manufacturing science, to ensure rapid and affordable development of material from discovery to delivery, critical to the Army of 2030 and beyond. Any tangible object that you touch is based on some kind of materials, and Army needs materials for everything for lethality, for protection, for communications, for saving soldiers' lives. We pursue a very broad portfolio of materials research in support of the warfighter, development of materials for sensors, electronic materials, novel forms of energy generation, energy storage, energy management. And we also do a lot of work in structural materials, that's metal, ceramics, polymers, and we pursue a pretty broad portfolio in the composite space of how do you mix materials for high performance. We're really working on trying to bring the material science and the manufacturing science together to be able to engineer new capabilities, new materials, technologies. One of the ways that we're approaching new material development is focusing very much on model-based material design. As computation becomes cheaper and the cost of experimentation goes up, it behooves us to move in the direction of trying to do as much simulation up front as we can. Modeling is critical. It enables us to create simulations that can predict possibilities of what materials could actually do. You have to produce the materials in order to verify that they have the properties that you want. This allows us to be much more agile in development of new materials. The materials campaign is focused toward discovering new materials, which will enable the Army to achieve future technological capabilities. These nanomaterials at that size can be processed in a wide range of ways. And because their properties are multifunctional, they can be embedded in all kinds of other structures, and those will lead to the Army's capabilities. We can redesign technology to address specific needs for the warfighter, if it's size, or weight, power, performance, cost, all these things. We are highly specialized and capable at taking a large piece of technology and shrinking them down to the nano and micro scale. We've had a lot of investments in materials for protecting our soldiers, putting together uh, new material systems for armor kits to enable new helmet technologies as well as body armor technology for individual soldiers. This knowledge and understanding that we generate will enable our senior leadership to buy the best technology that our soldiers will need in the future. This is how we are supporting the war.